As a crowd, the patterns we make are incredibly predictable. Even as individuals, our actions are controlled by the code. And by untangling chaotic systems like the weather, we've uncovered evidence of the code in what we once thought of as impossibly complex. When we look at things from a different angle, surprising patterns emerge. Patterns that can reveal defining truths about ourselves and our future. In 1906, an unfortunate cow laid down its life for a place in mathematical history. One. 264, 417. The cow was the subject of a guess the weight competition at a village fair. The lucky person who came closest would win the slaughtered animal's meat. 1,020, 2,130. The amazing thing was nobody guessed correctly. And yet, everybody got it right. 4,510. To show you how they did it, I'm not going to use a cow, I'm going to use a jar of jelly beans. 450. 800. 12,000. 7,000. How many jelly beans do you think there are in this jar? Um, 50, uh, 80,000. 80,000? No, actually, 50,000. 50,000? Yeah. OK, 50, yeah. Okay. It's incredibly difficult for anyone to guess how many jelly beans there are. I asked 160 people, and most were way off the mark. Everything from 400 right up to 50,000 beans. In fact, only four people got anywhere near the correct answer of 4,510. Plus 1,500, plus 3,273, plus 873,000. But if I add all the answers together and take the average, I'll get the combined guess of the entire group. Plus 1,000, plus 5,000, which gives a grand total of 722,383.5. Somebody thought there was half a bean in there. Now, there are 160 guesses made, so let's see how close they are collectively. Wow, that's extraordinary. If you remember, there were 4,510. The average guess to the nearest bean is 4,515. I mean, I thought it'd be close, but I didn't think it'd be that close. That is ridiculous. So although we had guesses that were all over the place, up in 30,000s, right down in the 400s, collectively, we get something which is just 0.1% away from the real number of beans in there. So as individuals, the guesses are just that, guesses. But when you take them collectively, they become something else entirely. 9,000. What tends to happen is that, more or less, as many people will underestimate the number of jelly beans as overestimate it. A few people will be way off the mark either way, but that doesn't matter. Provided you ask enough people, the errors should cancel each other out. The accuracy of the group is far greater than the individual. We call this the wisdom of the crowd. <laughs> <laughs>